In this lesson, we'll be going over G83 pec drilling. Uh, G83, it's a can cycle. It's modal, meaning uh, every XY location you call up after calling up your G83, it will pec drill a hole. Uh, it's great for deep holes. It increases hole precision, and it's universal, meaning a lot of CNC machines will accept G83, like Haas and Fanuc. Uh, here's a common format for uh, G83. You have your X, your Y, your Z, your R, your Q, and your F. Your X and your Y, that's the hole location. Your Z, that's the depth of the hole. Your R, that's the R plane. The R plane, uh, for example, if you plug in the value of uh, 0.1, 100 thou, uh, your uh, drill is going to wrap it down to 100 thou above where the, the hole location is, then start pack drilling, and then it'll come back up to 100 thou after it's done pack drilling. Uh, Q, that's the depth of each cut, and F, that's your feed rate. So, uh, for example, we'll plug in a couple numbers here. Uh, we'll go X of 2, Y of 3, we'll say it's uh, a 3 inch deep hole. Uh, we'll make our R plane 0.1, that's pretty standard. Uh, Q, we'll go half inch deep every, uh, every pack. And our feed rate, we'll move at uh, 10 inches per minute. There is a good uh, example of a G83. This G83 is uh, in the format of the IJK method. Uh, Pretty much the same as the standard method I showed you in the beginning, uh, but you have an X, your Y, your Z, your I, J, K, your R, and your F. So the only thing really different is you have an I, J, and K, and it's missing a Q. Uh, your X and your Y, that's your hole location. You have your Z, which is your depth of the hole. And I, that's the first cut depth. So it'll be the, that's the initial depth of the first cut. So I can make this normally be like the largest number. So I can make this like, I'll make it like 200 thousands. So it'll drill down 200 thousands. Let's say if I, I can't, I don't want to go deeper than 200 thousand because then I won't have room for my chips to clear or break. So it goes down 200 thousand, come back up. Uh, and the J is the amount to reduce the cut of each pack. So the deeper I get, I obviously I can't keep going 200 thousand deep each time because I won't have room for my chips to clear or, or to break. So I'll, for J, I might plug in, I'll reduce it by 20 thou each cut. So I'll start at 200, and every time it goes back down to pack again, it's gonna uh, go down to like 180 thou, then 160 thou, then 140 thou. Then you have your K, which is the minimum depth of cut. So I might make that like 100 thou. Uh, so eventually, I start at 200, I take 20 away, when it gets to 100 thou, it's, gonna, it's not going to go any shallower than that. It'll, at that point, it'll keep taking 100 thou packs. R, as we went over, that's your R plane, and F, and that's your feed rate. So, for another quick example, X, we'll put in 4, Y, we'll do 2, Z, we'll go, let's say we're going 5 inches deep. I will go 200 thou for our first initial depth. J will shorten it up by 30 thou. And then K, uh, I don't want it to get any smaller than 100 thou. R plane, 100 thou. And feed rate will go like 6, 6 inches per minute. Here's a good example of G83 using the IJK method. All right, here's a quick example of how to use G83. Here's our blueprint. The blueprint isn't to scale or anything like that. It's just for a quick representation. Uh, we'll be drilling eight half-inch holes, uh, inch and a half deep along here. Uh, we're going to start out. Our zero is going to be up here in the corner. So we got G00, X0, Y0, rapiding to this point right here. Calling up for G83, which is our can cycle. Going to an X1, Y minus one, putting this right here. Uh, our Z, 
is inch and a half, because we're going inch and a half deep. R, our R value is uh, 0 0.1, 100 thou. And something really quick that I really didn't uh, hit on earlier when I was explaining G83, uh, when it packs down, when it retracts, after it does that pack, it's gonna retract up to that R value as well. So if I put in 0 0.1, uh, and it's packing at uh, you know, 50 thou each time, it's gonna go down 50 thou, back up to 0 0.1. Down another 50 thou, back up to 0.1. Um, then you have your uh, our Q value, which is 250. So each pack it's going 200. Uh, it's going to be going 250 thousands. And our feed rate, I just made uh, eight. So it drills a hole, first hole here, and we're still in um, we're still in uh, absolute uh, dimensioning. Uh, I didn't call it out, but we're just going to pretend like we are. We're starting out in absolute dimensioning. So we got X two. So now it's going to move over here. It's going to pack drill. Uh, then we're going to X three, pack drill. X four, pack drill. And then uh, this isn't like a common practice, but just to show you a different way how to uh, use the G eighty three. We're calling up G ninety one, which is your incremental uh, dimensioning. So from here, we're going down to a minus two. So we're going out two inches from here. Uh, it's going to pack drill, and then from there, we're going to call up an X minus 1, and it's, the L is going to loop it three times. So it's going to go here, minus 1, it's going to pack drill, and it's going to go to, it's going to move over another X of 1, here, pack drill, and uh, since we looped it three times, it's going to drill the third hole, another X of 1, right here. Uh, that's where we'll drill the final hole, and it's going to be retract out and just uh, we're going to throw in G80 which is canceling the can cycle. Uh, this isn't like a real proper program, uh, it's just more to give you an understanding and uh, a couple ideas of how to program using a G83. I hope this video gave you a better understanding of G83. Uh, any comments or suggestions or questions, leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you happily. Thank you, have a great rest of your day.